Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the construct tree from binary tree. This is a lead code easy and the number for this is 606. So in this given problem we are given with the root of a binary tree and we have to construct a string consisting of parentheses and integers from a binary tree with a pre-order traversal way and return it. So suppose we have a tree like A is the root, B is the left child of A and C is the right child of A. So it is represented as A then a pair of parentheses and the left child then a pair of parentheses then the right child so the representation equation becomes like root then there is a pair of parentheses and in that we have a, the left subtree then we have a pair of parentheses then we have the right subtree so let's see how we are going to do this for example one so we have one so initially one will be there then in the left parentheses we will be having two and in two's left parentheses we will be having four so you can see we will have one and in the left parenthesis we have the two and within two we also have the four and this entire thing becomes the left subtree and for the one the next parenthesis the next pair of parenthesis will have the right subtree that is three so this is correct it has three so how we are going to do this so we are going to do this using a dfs so we are going to call recursively call the dfs initially on the root and then if we will check we will if we if the root has a left child and a right child then we will do that but before that let's see on the sample example too how we are going to apply dfs so initially we will be having a root you can take a string in c++ we have taken a string builder in java so initially call uh, the recursive function on the root so okay we have called on the root dfs on the root and initially the root will be appended to the string yes, it is appended then it will go on the left side open a bracket so okay goes to the left open a bracket check if there is a left child yes there is a left child of one so what we will do recursively call on left child so we have called recursively on left child so okay recursively calling on left child we get a 2 so 2 is appended to the result okay now again open a bracket for the left side of 2 is there a le uh, left child no so what we will go close it close the left side of 2 does this thing have a right side yes it has so what we will go we will be going to do open a bracket so bracket is opened yes it is opened then what we are going to do call recursively on the right side we are going to call recursively on the right side of the 2 that is 4 now you can see 4 is appended is there something on the left is there something on the right no return so we are going to return by appending a closing parenthesis so we have this now the left subtree is done for the one we are remaining with the right subtree so now what we are going to do go to the right open a bracket going to the right opening a bracket we are going to see is there a right child yes there is a right child so call recursively on uh, right child so 3 will be added to the string now is there a left or is there a right for 3 no so close the bracket and return so this entire string will be returned and this will be our final answer so let's see how we are going to code it but before that do like the video share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel and comment your suggestions in the comment section if you have any so first of all we will be taking a string or a string builder whatever you want we have to initially call it on the root dfs is called on the root and then simply return the result after converting it into the string now we are going to define this dfs function and in this dfs function we are going to take the tree node which is the root initially and 
string builder result if the root becomes null the root is null we have to simply return we have seen in that case when the left child or the right child becomes null we are going to simply return otherwise rest dot append an opening bracket not opening bracket we are going to put the value if it is an integer check if left equal to null and right also equal to null that means this is a leaf node in that case what we are going to do return that was the leaf node in this case otherwise rest dot append an opening bracket dfst dot left after opening bracket we call on the left side recursively and after calling on the recursively on the left side append the closing bracket so closing bracket also append then we need to check if there is a right if t consists of a right if it does not consist of a right if it consists of a right that is that means it is not null then we are going to append another pair of opening bracket and closing bracket and dfs will be called on the right side again close the opening bracket as well so yes this is the complete code let's try to run it but before that let me clean this part now it seems good okay sample test case is passed let's run for the hidden test cases as well so the hidden test case is also passed with a good time complexity and a good memory complexity so the time complexity for this solution is o of n where n is the number of nodes in the binary we visit each node once during the dfs traversal and the space complexity is o of h where h is the height of the tree so the recursion stack space is actually the equal to the height of the tree you can also check the c++ python and the javascript code by going into the solutions panel in the lead code and then checking this solution this solution you can check you can go read the intuition approach complexity and then go to see the java c++ python javascript code and yes remember to upload the solution so thank you for watching the video i hope you liked it share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so thank you for watching the video have a nice day